take this panel off we'll take this off we're gonna paint this and so let me start cleaning this up a little bit got my alcohol let's do it a nice little clean up get whatever grease and stuff like that we're gonna we're gonna re clean it again afterwards after I've taken it off but let's get a head start on it now, what is the purpose of you putting the rubbing alcohol on it? So that when they put the vinyl wrap on it, it'll stick a lot better. Okay. You really need to have a clean surface to put vinyl wrap on here. All right. So it looks good. All right. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. And this is where all the magic is. So right now, in order for me to get all this out, I gotta take this screw, this screw, and this screw. And so I'll use my, my rent horn board. Okay, so we're gonna take these screws out. We got one, two, three. I see another one, four. And so when we take these screws out, we're gonna need to cut these off right here. These are what hold, these little plastic welds, this is what holds the silver panel on. These little plastic welds right here. And so let me first take this off real quick. Put all these on my table here. All right, so now. Dennis, will you close the alcohol please? Because if it, we bump it, it's gonna spill. Okay, good catch Thank there, you. Beth. good catch. All right, so now what you gotta do is you gotta pull the lever. Like underneath, that, underneath. The, the door handle? Yeah, pull the lever, and then you just pull it out. Comes out real easy. Once you, once you pull this, it'll slide right out that way. Oh, the door handle's on the other side. Correct. Can I see the other side just real? Oh, that's so cool. All Thank right, you. So that's your door handle. All right. We'll take that out. So now we've got these little plastic wells, we've gotta cut them out. Oh. Yeah, and so then I'm going to take the speaker out real quick. Let me zip the speaker out. Now, what kind of screwdriver are you using for that? That's going to be a T25. A Phillips head? No, uh, it's a Torx. Torx. Torx 225? T25. Oh, yeah. Torx. Oh, T20, sorry. T20. Let me, let me get up close. Got it. Okay. T20. Put these little silver me bobs right here. And this is going to reveal 
and this is going to show you where the grill is. So when I lift this up, take this out right here, see where the grill is, and we're going to be taking these tabs out. So I'm going to show you how you do all that. What is that, what part is the grill? Where the speaker, or the sound comes through. Can you point to it, please? Right here. Okay, so if got I flip, it. So if I flip it over, that's the grill part right there. All Wait, right? okay. So it now, looks like metal mesh. Yeah, and so got when it. I cut these off, I'll cut these little rivet plastic uh, welds off. I'm going to use these screws to replace it with 10 by 38. It's a number 10. And you get these at Home Depot, no problem. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my handy little tool right here. And what we're going to do is, we're going to look for where all the welds are, what's holding this together. So I know that this weld right here is holding it. This weld right here is holding it. This, 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 and this. And I got two more screws I got to do. Let me take the two screws out first. I think I better put my earplugs in. Yeah. One second. We'll get this one. Get that one. Okay. So. Just a moment. I'm going to put my earplugs in because I have a feeling it's going to be noisy, right? Yeah. Just a minute, please. All right, safety first. Okay, so I'm gonna zip this one off. Check on the other side. Get this part right here. So there's two more right here. Zip them out. Took my and I think that's it. Let me double check. So this goes up this high. I think this one could be. Let's see if I can pop it out. There we go. See, it's starting to come out. There we go. I think we've got one more. This one right here. Electric grinding, cutting tool, power tool, oscillating, multi, mm. oscillating multifunction tool. Let's get it at Harbor Freight. It's like mm. 20 bucks, I think it is. Okay. Okay, so now we've got that out. Here we go. So now we can put this to the side. Uh-oh. That's Some okay, that's just the uh, screw. screw. A lucky penny fell out of the door. Uh-oh. We've played a lot of tonight, Babs. <laughs> I think it's 500 million. Ooh, good times. Okay, let's put this back in there. All right, so now we got this. Okay, so now we need to take this out, which is pretty easy. So, Gotta be careful with these little tabs though, they will, they will break on you. 
So let's take that, lift that up, lift that up. You just bend it forward? Yeah. Are they made out of aluminum or something? I think it's aluminum, yeah. It looks like it. Yeah. So now I just pop that out. Comes out nice and easy. Okay. Don't oh. forget, there's your grill. Don't lose your grill. Can you turn it over on the other side so I can see what it looks like? Yep. Okay. Thank We're you. We're going to take this off and paint it. So meanwhile we're wrapping that, the paint will dry. So oh, pause it. okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna paint this. So we'll take the felt out of here. Oh, don't lose that. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mask the meridian part out. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna I'm gonna mask this. Do you have to use a certain kind of paint when you paint it? Not really. I'm just using bumper paint because that works pretty good. Just regular black? Yeah, regular black uh, bumper paint. Paint. Okay. And so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna smooth this out. And then use a razor blade or something, or yeah. just your finger. Just gonna use a razor knife right here. Cut this. Right through here. And just peel it away, huh? Correct. Okay. Peel it over there. Wow. A lot of little uh, moving pieces to this project. Yeah. So we'll put this over here. And now, shake this puppy up. Uh oh, should I move to the side or? I think right. I'll move up the stairs. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple of coats. Alright, so we'll let this dry for now. Oh, let me get the edges real quick. And then we'll unmask that later once it's dried. So once we finish the vinyl wrap, this should be dry. Okay, so now back to this. Rubbing alcohol once again. Yep. About 91%. We're so gonna try and clean all That's this. That's strong. Yeah, clean all this crap off of here. We're gonna clean right in these crevices. That's where we're gonna make the uh, seal in there. Okay, that's with the very, vinyl wrap? Yeah, that's very important that we get in there. Okay. Very important we get in here also. Okay. So now we need it to wrap around, so we need all that real clean. Get in here. All the areas which it's going to seat and seal, we need to get them clean. All right, looking good. Basically the entire surface. Correct. And if you notice all these little things right here where I cut off, we're going to be using these screws. These screws are gonna go into these holes, and it's gonna and it's gonna hold the uh, put hold it back together again. So let me make sure there's no paper or anything like that. That looks good. Let me make sure the surface is okay. All right, that looks good. Right. How long does the spray paint, the bumper paint, take to dry? I would say. Usually it's like 10 minutes. Oh, that's fast. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I'll probably, I'll probably put another coat on it. Okay. I didn't know it was that fast. Yeah. Wow. Let's see if we can get a nice... Let me see the, the, the vinyl wrap. Right here. Okay. 
Does vinyl wrap have lines on the back like wrapping paper does? Usually the tech wrap has it. Okay. But I ran out of tech wrap, which is better than this. Okay. And it's nice to have the lines on the back. But That's what I was going to say. It seems like it would be helpful. Yeah. So I'm going to get a good size. Make sure we get the right amount. Not too much. Need enough to stretch over. Some of the tools for vinyl wrapping remind me a little bit of scrapbooking tools. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, so now we don't need all this. So what I'll do is, we don't need about this much. Is that an exacto knife you're yeah. using? Yeah. Cut for me. I don't need too much. Okay. So this is gonna wrap over here. Got that much. Okay. Wow. Looking good. So, yeah, that looks good right there. Fill this puppy off. Once you peel it off, do you have to move quickly? Uh, not do you have a certain amount of time? No, no. Good thing about this stuff, you can reheat it. If you get a wrinkle, you can reheat it. Okay. So I let's see. see. About there should do it. Alright, so what you do with this, because it has a curve and a That's what you I need was a wondering. relief. See that little gap right there? Yes. What I you're do gonna see. do you're gonna lift it back up. Okay. And then roll it into it. Press it into the curve. Yeah. But you need relief in here. I'll peel that back again. And I'll bring that like that. That looks good. See, I see I got a little gap still. See right in here? So I need to re lift it again. Slowly bring it in. Alright, that looks better. See, there's no gap now. Took, mm -hmm. took up that gap. And I'll smooth it over. Find out where my areas are. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're going to do a couple little relief cuts. See, I see I got stress right here. So I'll cut it right here. Okay. See that stress? I relieve some of that stress. I'm looking for all the stress points right now. See right here is a stress point. So, I'm feeling, I'm feeling all the way down here, as I'm going down, looking for stress. Stress right there. Is stress like a point where you feel like it might crease and, and tear? Correct. And okay. it won't seal. And so Got right it. now, I'm going to lift it up again. It's a little bit like sewing too. Yeah. So now I've got this. Make sure my table's nice and clean. So now I want to feel for my hole. Right there. 
All right, so now I'm gonna peel away some of this protective cover. Let's place this down here. Find where my holes are. Right there. Then I'm gonna look for my stress again. See, I'm pulling. Pulling it. See a big stress right here. So now I'm gonna do a relief cut right here. All right. Feel a lot of stress going on right here again. So this time I'm gonna throw a little heat on it. Is that like a little torch gun? Yeah, a little propane gun. Just gonna warm it up a little bit. Sorry, I just moved the paint okay. away from the heat source. Right, so there, I'm getting all this out of here. So there, see, see we've got a lot of stress going on right there, see? So. Well, it is during a pandemic. Maybe it's stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of us have been. <laughs> the whole world. The whole world. So I'm going to... See, I'm still pulling up because of that one corner right here. Tricky little corner, huh? Yep, so you gotta keep, you gotta pull the stress out of it. See right here? Mm -hmm. So what I'll do, I'll give it a little heat. A little torch? Yep. You said it's a propane or a butane? Uh, butane. Butane? Yeah. Still pulling this stress out of here. So I need more cuts. One right there, one right there, right on the top of it. So I'll just... That's a little handy little torch. It is. So now I can pull these right here. See how that pulls right in? Mm-hmm. It's giving me that nice relief right there. Mm hmm Take that stress off of it. So now oh, I'll bring this up. Good. So now it's still got a little stress going on. So I'm gonna Let's get move. rid of that stress. <laughs> I don't like that word. <laughs> We've so, all had enough of that in 2020. I know, 2020 was not a shining year. See, you got a little bubble right there. So I'm going to pull that out. So let's pull that up. Pull it back, pull it tight. Pull these little tabs. See, I'm pulling that real tight over that. Pull these tabs right here. Notice it's starting to pull together now. So I'm pulling. It's almost like shrink wrapping something. Yeah. Right? Yes, it is. So, see, I've got a little stress right here. So, I'll make another relief cut. Cut that stress out of your life. <laughs> All right. So, we're looking good now. See that? Mm -hmm. See, all this part, you won't be shown. You won't seal any of this. So make sure that this doesn't bubble up on me. Just gotta push it all out. There we go. Now I'm gonna be cutting some of that off. All right, that's looking good so far. So now I'm gonna attack this area. It's right here. So let's do a little heat. I pull right over the top. But we've got a bunch of drag races out here, huh? Mm-hmm. Drag Strip Boulevard here. <laughs> Alright, 
So now, pull these tabs back here. Alright, looking good. Pull that little bubble out, see that? Looking good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start trimming. Don't need all this. Yeah, I'll pull it back right here. See that right there? Pull that right out of there. Wow. Pull these right back. Wow. Pull this back right here. Gotta pull it nice and tight while it's still warm. Pull this right over the corner. Now, got too much excess right here. Cut some of this off. Alright. We've got a hell of a lot of excess down here. So Cut that stress out, huh? Cut that stress <laughs> out. Okay, so we had to come indoors because of the mosquitoes that started to attack us. And so, yeah, and so this is kind of what we got so far. Now, what we're going to do is go back here, seal it a little bit, get a little heat to it, make sure everything's nice and sealed. Because once you hit the glue, once you hit the, the, the heat to it, it activates the glue within the uh, the vinyl wrap itself. It makes it a little bit tacky. Yeah. Again. And then you just seal it with your little tool here. Then I'm going to throw a little heat on the edge right here. That's where you really need it. First, I'll just use my hand on it. And then I'll tuck it in. Throw another bit of heat on it again. And then I'll tuck it in even more. Because you really want to tuck this in right here so it locks in. So you're just pressing on it with that tool? Correct. And that should seal this it in. It looks like a hard spatula that has part of it cut off or yeah, something. Yeah. Can you hold up the little tool to the camera? Yeah, it's a little spatula Can tool. Can you hold it up like down a little bit? Right there. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, Thank that's a little yes. tool I'm using. And I'll throw a little heat on here. Seal this in. And that looks good. So now, and then you got these little edges right here. Dennis, so, can you put it here in the middle so I could get a good picture of it? Like just right. lie it flat on the wood. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll. <laughs> I want to seal this little edge right here and tuck this in. There's a little seam in there, which I cut. Okay. And so I'm going to tuck that right in there. So it looks like it's all one piece and push it in. So that should seal that. So that's nice. And so now that looks pretty good, huh? What do you think, babs? It looks excellent. Hey, you did a good job on the paint on this. Thank you. To make it black, you painted it black. So now here's the handle. Oh. 
So here's a little handle right here. Needs Can a little cleaning. Right there, like right here, so I could see the handle. Yeah, there yeah, you go. That's good. And so what I'm gonna do? I want to put it back in. See if I put it in the right way now. See that looks good. So, oh. you, so you took that back in here. Let's see if I can get it in from the back. Let me make sure I don't have it upside down either. There we go. All right, so that looks good. So that's how it's gonna oh, look. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. And so let me uh, put the, there's some couple screws on here. I think no, we're gonna put that on when we put the uh, put it on the uh, door card. Door card, yeah. So that looks pretty good, huh? It does. It's beautiful. So now this is gonna match the dash. So when I put this back together, it will match the dash. All right, so now let's go over to the door card and we're gonna install this back onto the door card, okay? All right. Okay, so now you see the door card. And so you see this is gonna fit on like that. And so let's start installing this puppy. So first, let me see here. First, I gotta... Let me take this out of here real quick. You took the door handle off. Yeah, so that's that right there. So that'll fit on there nice. See that? All right. So now I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. And see, remember when I, remember when I cut them little things off? Yes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that right there. Put in the door handle. When you put the door handle in, make sure you open it, open it up first. You pull that right there, and then it'll go in. When you're taking it out, make sure you pull it out, and it'll make it easier for when you take it out. So it's, so it's almost like you put the handle in the open position. Right. Like when you're opening the door. You got it. And so I got my little screws right here. And so I'm going to need two my little black screws. Let me see what kind of screws they look like, please. Like these. Torx. Can you hold it in the palm of your hand, please? Right here. So that I can see what it... Thank you. And what is the top of the head? It's a T15. And so okay. we're going to screw this into here. I'll get this going. There's one. I'm not going to tighten it yet until I get everything lined up. So. Alright, so that's snug. That's a T15 also, the second one you put in? Yeah. They're all T15? Correct. Okay, got it. And so I think I've got one more right here, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to snug them all up. All right, so you remember these what I cut off these old plastic welds on here? Yes And so what we're gonna do we're gonna add these little screws right Can here. Can you hold that in the palm of your hand? Right. Is that also a T15? No, let me uh, get us. Let me get a screwdriver and pause it for a second. Okay Okay, so these are the screws we're gonna be using. They're gonna be a number 12 by th 3 eighths of an inch and uh Got these down at Home Depot. Is it a Phillips head? Yeah, it's a Phillips head. Standard made, Phillips head? Yeah, made by Everbuilt. Okay. So Home Depot carries all these. So let's grab a couple of these puppies. Right. And you're going to use those for the where you sawed off those other Yeah, parts. So, I can, so I can pull that plate back in. Get this thing going. And you don't want to use like a, um, a power tool, like a drill, because you'll strip it. That's you'll what I was thinking. You'll definitely strip it. Just use a regular screwdriver and it'll pull it right in. Standard Phillips head? Yeah. Gotcha. 
So these are all the little pieces of it. The divots or whatever. Yeah. Let's pull it right in. Sounds like candy. Sounds like candy. Like Maltesers. Mm -hmm. Peanut M. Crunch. <sighs> Haven't had any minstrels. I went down to UK Gourmet. They didn't have any uh, minstrels down there. Oh, no. They've yeah. been sold out for a while. Yeah. I think they're just so popular. Yeah, I love my minstrels. Let's hold off on that one. What else we got? There's one down here. So once you cut the welds off, once you cut the welds off, you just use regular screws and it'll pull it right in for you. Also it makes it nice and easy for you guys. All right, let's take a look. That one screw might be a little difficult. Let me see. Yeah, I need this. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, I need this one right here. I don't want to use the old power tool. No. You might have to to get you it. You can take it. I have to. to you get can it. get it. All right, there we go. Going in. Come on, baby. You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on, baby. Catch hold. <laughs> Babs. Babs says take hold. All right, we got it, Baba Babs. I knew you could take it. All right, let's turn her around and see what we got. Whoa, showtime. This looks sweet. On it? Man, look at that. Looking good, huh? Alright, so we're gonna take Smoking. it out. To, we're gonna take it to the car and install it. And we'll see you guys then. Okay, so we've got a subscriber who's asking about the carbon fiber I've done in here. You just noticed all the carbon fiber I got going on. Let's move this out of here. Got all this done. So it's all looking good and uh, he's asking about these panels and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that I got some panels uh, carbon fibered right here. Let me show you guys. Ugh. So this is it right here and it's going to go right here see if I can put it in there properly. So let's try and start with the first one. It's got like a sticky back on the back. Let's see if I can line this up without screwing it up. Does it have a little lip? Yeah, it has like a little lip and it's got some glue, sticky glue. Let me see if I can get this to line up right. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. There we go. That looks good. Now I just gotta push it in. Now you see that bottom line, I gotta try and line that up a little bit. Yeah, getting it right there. Does that look pretty good there, Bubs? From where I can. Well, from where I'm at, it looks fine. All right, good. So now I stuck the first one. That looks pretty cool, huh, Babs? Mm -hmm. Looks straight right here. Hopefully I've got it straight. Now let's try for the second piece. So now this piece is going to go on over this section right here. So I'm going to tuck it in like so. Let's see if I can line it up straight. Get it behind the buttons. Let's see if I can see on it here. I just want to make sure it's nice and straight. There we go, that looks good. Stick it on. Bada bing, bada boom. That looks good, huh? It's got the little arrows in here so it'll light up at night. There we go, that's good. Not bad, huh, Babs? Looks Not nice. bad at all, I like it. So that's all dumb. So I, you notice if you show them this, I did all the, the inside of here all done. Um, I did all this part right here and uh okay so now they have these little buttons which will go on here I don't think I want to do all that I want to make it look all 
you know, put that little silver now. I mean, it kind of matches that, but I ain't gonna bother with the little button thing, so I'll hold off on that for now. Now, the other subscribers asking about the uh, climate control, the zoning, so you can change the that temperature and this temperature over here on what this dull button's for. So that's what it basically is. So if you get to your air conditioning part, you turn that on, you hit the dull button, it turns on a jewel. See that? So, it so if I hit it, it turns on the jewel climate control. So if you want... Let me uh, just zoom in a little bit. See that? So if you want the temperature over on this side at 62, or say me, 70, 74, you can have their side uh, hot over and this side cold. But you're using, that's what this button's for, the jewel. D-U-L-L? -L. Yeah, so you see, see how I hit it and it went to low, low, so both of them are even now. Oh, so the D-U-L-L -L button controls the D-U-A-L. Right, the jewel climate control. Got it. Right, so thank you guys, and uh, if you could like and subscribe, that would be great. So we'll be back with a lot of video, more videos. I think we got it right next to us is the X-Type. Show them the X-Type, Babs. That's where we put the uh, the subwoofer in. We had to put the subwoofer in there and stuff like that. And we're gonna show you guys how to wire that up. And then we put the subwoofer in here also. And we're gonna show you the wiring diagrams, how to wire both these cars up. So right now, in the process of making the videos on putting this all together so you guys can see which wires you gotta connect and blah, blah, blah. And then you should be good to go, I hope. And then I think I have a rear spoiler coming in that should the rear wing should be coming in. I'm not not going to I'm not going to leave it black like it most people do. I'm just going to paint it the exact same color as the car. And uh I'm going to show you the process of painting it. And so you'll see that video coming up. So if you subscribe and hit the notifications, you'll know when that video will be coming out. And so thank you guys. I appreciate it and uh love to you all. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hey guys, so what I've done, if you notice right here, I got the console right here, the cluster. And uh, I got, if you notice, I got the little button in there. And with that button, what we're going to do is that button's just going to turn on the 360 degree cameras on demand. And so if you, I'm just giving you a demonstration on the, with this screen. And if I hit that button, this camera is going to show you guys. So I got a little camera, a little test camera, a little cheap one, just to show you guys what it can do. So. Let me hold the camera real quick. So what I'll do is I'll hit the button. Let me hit the button real quick. So when I hit the button, watch what happens. So I've turned the button on. Now the camera has uh, activated. See, when I hit the button, it activated the camera over here. And so I can just shine the camera anywhere. So like, I've got it right here. I'm just going all over the place with it. So that's what's going to activate my 360 degree camera because I carbon fibered this uh, the cluster right here if you noticed and then I added that button so I'm going to have the cameras on demand you know what I mean and so that's my first thing so that's the camera so I could just turn if you notice with the screen right there watch when I hit the button it'll turn it off there we go and you'll go back to the regular regular screen I got right here okay guys so what we're going to do we're going to take this cluster take it outside and let's put it in the Jaguar XF, okay?